So the first major component we're going to dive into to help is the HTML5 application cache. This lets you provide a local cache of HTML files, CSS, JavaScript, images, any other resources your client web app may use, and get the browser to use them even before it tries to hit the network. So let's take a look at how this works and how we can use it. The application cache is a manifest that you point to from inside your HTML element. Let's take a look at the cache manifest for our conference application. The manifest starts with the magic header cache manifest. Lines that start with a hash sign are actually comments. Typically, the second line is a comment with some kind of cached version string. More on that later. But this is followed by a cache section. Now, what do you think goes in the cache section? Should it be every file that's on the server's file system? Every resource that can be statically served? Or should it be a collection of cat videos? 